I think any great masterpiece has a modern narrative. You know, you look at Hamlet, uh, you look at Don Giovanni, you look at King Lear. I mean, these are three great masterpieces, and they always will be because they speak to the human condition. While I've talked about the opera being set in the 1920s in Spain, uh, in a rather small village, it's not a documentary at all. It's an opera. It's theater. So it's a heightened, very theatrical, witty world that's sort of commenting on itself being the 1920s. When we were creating the designs, we, we looked at a lot of films, both of Italian films and also um, uh, Spanish films, and we decided that we wanted to take it a, a bit further back in the 20th century, updating it, but, but keeping it back in the 1920s. And we looked at a lot of wonderful black and white films that had been made in Spain during the 20s. There's a recent black and white Spanish film called Blanca Nevis, which is just beautiful, and it was filmed in a small town in Spain, and we looked at that a lot, and that was a great inspiration. I think that the way that we're going to be dealing with Don Giovanni's demise, if that's not giving too much away, is unique and uh, will be exciting and feature the performer in a really bold way on the lyric stage, which I'm very excited about. And I think that we're really going to deliver something wonderful with the performer. Something that I have really enjoyed working on this opera is uh, a different uh, a way of irising in on a character um, and specificity, but at the same time the uh, possibility to uh, paint with a very big broad brush mm -hmm. and to uh, be able to step away and uh, look at some of the characters really as if I was painting uh, and, uh, and thinking about the visual uh, distribution of color and shapes and uh, um, th that was just very exciting to me. It's, it's, it's the course of a day and you have you know, half of it's happening at night, so you, you know, you, you, the wedding market scene is the only one that's actually bright, bright daylight. And, but, but at the same time, you, you don't want to be dreary all night long. And so it's a, it's a real question of revealing people in the midst of a dark world. You want very crisp people in the middle of that. You want them to be pulled out and to be, to be, be highlighted in a really interesting way, so you'll often have a lot of shadowing and a lot of you know, very strong directionality, so you have light from one side but not from the other, and it just makes the people interesting at the same time mysterious. You want to, you want, you want to keep the mystery going on of what's happening in the shadows at all times, I think. I've worked with uh, all three of these designers uh, many, many times before. What, what excites me is that Walt has created this rather massive world which is recognizably realistic. The whitewashed walls of a Spanish village uh, Duane has created uh, darkness and, and nighttime as well as the bright light of, of, of a sort of Spanish uh, village midday. Uh, but I'm particularly excited by what Anna has done, where she is taking sort of history and she makes some comments on Picasso, on, on Dali, uh, on Velasquez you know, a number of artists, and I, I think it's really witty, it's very colorful, and it's very exciting.